Estamos esperando aquí. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's wait. Uh, okay, guys, hello, hello, everyone. Hello, hello. We're gonna go ahead and uh, okay, here we go. Let's go without further ado. Let me flip the cam. This is a case. We're gonna, we're gonna do a, pr a procedure today, okay, guys. Okay. Okay, you're gonna receive a lot of questions. We're gonna hopefully, <laughs> we'll, we'll hold all the questions for the end. So, <clears throat> without further ado, first and foremost, I wanna take this opportunity to thank all the wonderful viewers out there, our subscribers, our followers, our loyal followers, and we really appreciate all the, um, I read all the comments, as many as I can, but, um, This is going to be great for a lot of great reasons. I haven't given you guys um, a video as such in quite some time. So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and do a live. Okay. And, and I'll make believe that we're, we're recording this. We're going to upload this after. Um, this is a young gentleman who presented from, or in Miami, he presented from New Jersey seeking solutions. Uh, the patient did find us through our YouTube channel. Uh, decided to come here uh, to see us for this pesky chronic ingrown toenail which i'm going to show you guys right now let's take a look here okay so um this is um obviously the 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 tourniquet is already on this is a wicked okay a wicked mammoth paronychia um uh, paronychia ingrown toenail medial both medial lateral borders both um this is a problem that's been lingering for about a year or so so, yes, a year. But Dr. Wagner, why didn't the patient go seek any type of uh, care in New Jersey? You know, that's a great question. His answer was, I'm busy. Okay? I'm busy. He's 22 years young, and I don't know how, how he was so busy that he could not seek any care. So, uh, of course, as everyone can see here, before we commence, I want to show you guys uh, the well, so to speak. Look at, you know, this is... All the soft tissue hypertrophy, okay, right around here, okay, um, on both sides. Uh, Dr. Wagner, w what's it like? Does it smell? It does have a little bit of malodor, right? Uh, all the festering, so to speak. Um, drainage, a little bit. I'm sure the patient has seen some, uh, some drainage in the past, here and there. Socks, um, possibly band-aids, etc. So what we're, what we're, um, the patient is really seeking a, a long-term solution. What we're going to go ahead and do, make sure it's not blurry for the people. They're going to get mad. Uh, we're going to go ahead and perform the good old partial nail avulsion in conjunction with the phenochemical matrixectomy, aka the permanent procedure. Okay. So, um, that's essentially what we're going to do. And of course, before we start, I have to do what I haven't done in a while. Okay, so welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here at Jaws of Podiatry. There you go. Okay, so now that we've gone through that part, uh, let's take a look here. I am going to lead you guys um, play by play, okay? Um, but again, disclosure, please do not try this uh, at home. Uh, avoid uh, at all costs bathroom surgery, and, and let's make sure that, uh, of course, we keep the camera nice and still for the people, okay? And you can definitely zoom in. Um, people like to really, really get in there, kind of like, uh, or, yep, yeah, just kind of like that, okay? And we'll save all the questions uh, for the end, okay? Patient is awake, right? Uh, and, of course, there's uh, local anesthesia, okay? Um, what we're essentially doing first is detaching the proximal nail fold, okay? Just like that, okay? Proximal nail fold. This is the area where we're going to actually um, excise. Are too close? Yeah, too, too close. Yeah, there. That, that'll be good. Um, now we're going to go ahead and go underneath like this. Patient, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, good. Um, and again, I like to, uh, one of the things that I like to disclose to patients when we're doing these procedures, the chemical matrixectomy is, hey, patient, be very mindful, understand that the nail, once we chemically cauterize 
the root, that the, that the appearance of the nail is going to be thinner, okay? Because what we're trying to avoid is growth of the nail plate on, on each side. So there's no question that, again, there will be, you know, the nail in the central portion will be thinner, okay? So we go all the way back, kind of like that. We'll do that one first, okay? And then we'll come around here. Okay, and all the way back, just like that, the, sh the good old schnip schnip, okay? We, we want to find a happy place, a happy place where we can actually remove enough to make sure that there's no element of recurrence, okay? And Dr. Wagner, what's going to happen to this? And we'll talk, we'll talk about this in a minute, okay? Let's first get the money shots here, okay? And this is the first one, okay? That's number one. That's a baby boy, okay? Now we're gonna go to the other, the contralateral side, kind of like this, all the way back. And here's the second one, bigger piece. Look at the size of that whopper, okay? That is a grouper, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So we're gonna put, that's a baby girl, okay? Congratulations. Um, so now, this is a great show and tell case just because I'm going to be able to show you guys the abyss, the well, okay? And um, it, yeah, you guys can see deep down in there, it, it's it's no joke, right? But I can already feel the relief, okay? The good old boing, 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 there's nothing there. Now let's look on this side. Same thing, okay? Same thing. Now before we do anything, I like to dry the area really, really well. This is what this is for, right? We're gonna go like this, right? One on each side, just kind of like that. Get in there. Everything has to be really dry before we perform the chemical matrixectomy, AKA the permanent procedure, AKA the phenol procedure, okay? And, patient, you're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, you wanna close your eyes or not? No, I did not. Oh, okay, he's good. Uh, I like to dry everything really, really well because believe it or not, the blood will actually deactivate, deactivate the phenol. The phenol is what? Phenol is essentially what we use to cauterize the nail root. So if there's any blood, any solution, anything, it will definitely not work. It, it will lose is, it, its efficacy, right? So we're gonna go like this, make sure everything is nice and clean, nice and dry, okay? Just wiggle it like that. And again, for all the people out there in, you know, this is a, a wonderful platform where, you know, obviously a lot of people are here from all over the world. Again, take this opportunity to thank all the people that have always been with us, interacting, not interacting, causing problems, not causing problems, right? Okay, we're all set now, okay? So once again, I'm gonna give you guys a clear view of the abyss. Here we go. So nice and clean, that's what I mean, okay? So now, and there's nothing back here, you see? You see how I'm lifting this up here? So no nail back there, let's go to this side. Again, nothing back there, okay? So we're all, we're all, all set, ready to go. Dr. Wagner, what, what is this, right? Look at this. This is, this is a, a soft tissue hypertrophy. There is a little bit of a pyogenic granuloma, what we historically call the toe meat. Okay? The berry, the strawberry, okay? So we may decide to either A, excise it, or cauterize it at the end, okay? And again, here we go. Now, uh, the phenol is really, really potent, okay? That's why I have the schmear, right? This is the schmear. And I'm gonna apply the schmear kind of like here, right? I'm gonna schmear it just like that, kind of like baking a little bit of a cake, okay? But we're not really baking a cake. And the reason why I'm putting the schmear there is to protect the skin. We gotta make sure that we protect the skin, okay? Why? Because the solution, okay, you see, here it is. Let's show the world here. I'm not going to show, okay, here's the solution, right? And when you see these little things here, that means it's dangerous, okay? Cool. Okay, let's take another look here. 
And now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna apply the phenol. If anyone out there is recording this, please delete it. This is, this is not okay. Bathroom surgery does not work, okay? And now we're gonna go ahead and this is, we're gonna go ahead. Now we have the phenol there. So we're gonna go like this. One goes into the well all the way back and all the way in there, okay? And now we're gonna count, I have a little stopwatch here. We're gonna count to 30 seconds, okay? And um, I'd like to really, right, really just make sure that the, the Q-tips are all the way back to the nail root, okay? This is, this is a really, really important part of the procedure, okay? Because if there's any, as I said before, there's any blood, anything that will dilute the phenol, the phenol, the, the, the solution will lose its ability to work, okay? Okay, just like that. Okay, that's 30 seconds. Now we're gonna go ahead and reapply it, okay? We do, again, three applications of a minute. Uh, 30 seconds, I apologize. Okay, is the patient okay? We got a thumbs up, alive and well. Okay. Or, 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 I assume people are asking lots of questions, like crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. It's all about education, ladies and gentlemen, right? Education, this is what we do. Educate the world that these clinical presentations do exist, subsequent treatments, please do not try this at home. Everyone out there is probably just saying, yeah, right. This is exactly what we're going to do. Let's Google what is phenol. Let's Google this. Okay. Okay. And last but not least. Okay. The last application. Okay. Here we go. Boom. Boom. In there. Last but not least, the last bunny shot right there. Okay. Uh, I hope you guys are having either lunch or dinner. This is a great time to be doing that, okay? I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are doing that. Just enjoying or falling asleep for that matter. Okay, here we go. Now, one of the things that we need to really, really do is once we just, once we're done here, okay, that we have to make sure that we dilute everything around. Okay, now we're done. Okay, and then what do we do with these? Right, kind of like this. Okay, you see this, guys? You see? Uh, just like that, okay? Now, um, I know. Even my kids tell me that I'm weird. Uh, anyways, um, so here we go. Let's, w let's wipe the schmear first. Then we clean the schmear, okay? And we want to make sure that we... Let me see here, that we clean everything, that there is no residual phenol anywhere, because if we leave the phenol, the alcohol, the, the solution, it will burn the skin, and we don't want an unhappy patient, okay? Just kind of like that. That looks nice and clean, okay? We're not done yet. We're almost there, guys. I know that it's kind of boring, I assume. Okay, let's clean it out. So now, I want you guys to see something. Do you guys see that the tissue here is now sort of white in there, right? All of that, that white is the reaction. That's the burning, it's a chemical, it's an acid, it burns, okay? And same thing, same thing there, okay? Now, Dr. Wagner, what, what should we do with this, right? This slab of skin. Well, we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna excise it, okay? Because this young gentleman came from far away, okay? So I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna take my little pickup just like that, okay? And I'm just gonna snip, okay? Just kind of like this, okay? That's one and two, okay? I'm gonna put that down. No, patient, you cannot take that to go, okay? And then a little bit more, just like that, okay? And then that looks much better, right? There we go. I can already feel the relief. 
and I think the patient as well. One, one of the things that I like to do as well is, is trim the corners here like that a little bit, right? At an angle, just like that, okay? Boom, and a little bit on the front. The nail plate is a little bit loose, which is something that I told the patient even before we started, right? As a result of all the inflammation, chronic pressure, and so on and so forth, okay? So it's really, really important. Okay, Let's see here. And then we're gonna, again, use a little bit of more smear of the alcohol to make sure that there's no residual anything left, okay? And we're done. Voila, that's a beauty, okay? So let's, um, let's move the camera this way now because I'm sure people want to see like the goods, right? So what do we have here? We have, we have one of them right here. Uh, okay, that's one. Uh, that's two. And then we have the toe meat. There it is. Okay. So we're all set. Congratulations to pair of twins. Okay. Um, okay. Now, uh, last but not least, we have to remove the tourniquet, right? We can't just leave the tourniquet. So what I'm going to do is just so I can uh, just remove it and we'll take some questions now. Okay. I'm just going to, we got to remove this like that. Boom, boom. Take the schmear, which is right here, like that. Pyogenic granulomas will bleed, 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 just like that. And we're going to put a little dressing, temporary dressing here for now. Okay, let me take off my... Okay, thank you very much for your assistance, guys. One second, let me turn the camera. Here we go. Okay, we're all set. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take some questions now. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. David Patterson, take the whole nail off. That's something that we actually discussed, okay? I gave the patient three options. Uh, option number one, take the whole nail. He said, no, not really. Um, you know, it may fall off. It may fall off with a little bit of time um, or not. But at least um, we, we were able to accomplish what we, what we were set out to do, which is basically um, just cauterize, remove the offending nail plates and cauterize, okay? Um, so it doesn't bleed. Well, the tourniquet was on. The tourniquet was on. The toe meat, Chantal. Yes, the toe meat. Thank you, Jason Duke. Appreciate it. Any questions, guys? Thank you, Diane Kohut. Great job. Thank you very much. Any questions, guys? We will definitely, you know, we're in the midst right now. I've spoken to uh, quite a bit of people. They reach out to our platform. Um, we will be bringing back the good old, you know, videos, right? Um, which I think is uh, very, very important for a lot of people that have been with us since inception. So we will definitely be doing that, okay? Uh, any other questions before we, thank you very much, Paul, Velez, Stephanie, will the toenail continue to grow out from the toe properly? Yes, it will. Nanette, thank you. Nelly, thank you. Gabe, Gunter. Uh, when will the new videos be back? There, this is a, this is a start right here. Um, we're definitely implementing a lot of different, you know, new new approach and approaches to our platform. Um, what's he doing in there, burning him up? Thank you, Catherine. Uh, when will you remove the whole nail? No. Uh, how old are your children? Uh, Sixteen and fifteen. Uh, any antibiotic? No need. Once we remove the offending nail plate, everything kind of sizzles down. Banur Salem, thank you very much. Greetings from Tunisia. Greetings from Miami. Uh, no, it does not have any uh, any fungus. It is yellow, and that's a result of the nail plate not adhering to the nail bed. Jill, thank you very much. Tracy, thank you. Chantal, thank you. You're you're very welcome. Hello, Aaron. Catherine, hello again. Any other questions? Any other questions? Going once. How long have I been doing this? About 16 years. Manders, you're very welcome. You're, thank you very much. Catherine, Joe, Jose, local anesthesia. I'm doing very well. Thank you, Giovanna. Love the show. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Kate, Caitlin Sayers. Uh, hello, Ice MD. Sergio Torre, do, do you like chipotles? Sure, why not? Uh, 
<laughs> Margaret, thank you. Good to see you again. Anything else, guys? I'll be doing some more live, live cases for you guys. Okay? I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I want to take this opportunity to thank the patient uh, for allowing us to do this. Number one. Number two, uh, Jennifer for also assisting here. Um, Chantal, excellent. Okay. Um, and, and, and again, um, our podiatrist, real doctors, that's a, I would definitely Google that one. I appreciate it though. Uh, thank you, doctor. You're very welcome. Ken, uh, actually our podiatrist, real doctors, no, we're fake doctors. Fake. <laughs> fake doctors. Okay. Um, <laughs> Hello from the Netherlands, Tatiana. Welcome. Hello. Exactly. Hello. Goodbye. Got here too late. It's okay. We're going to upload this. Uh, no, we're not dentists. Dentists are the wrong end. We're down there. They're up here. Okay. I have itching. Okay, guys. We're going to call it a day. We're going to upload this. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And again, for all the people that joined us, thank you very much. Have a blessed day, everyone.